For the first time in more than three months, the Vancouver Aquarium opened its doors to the public this morning. The iconic Stanley Park Institution makes all its money from ticket sales. But after COVID-19 shut down the nonprofit in mid-March, there was no cash coming in. And with expenses of more than a million dollars a month for animal care and facility costs, the president wondered if it was headed for bankruptcy. Our financial crisis is far from over. There is no guarantee that the Vancouver Aquarium will survive, but this is a happy day when we can open and welcome you back. With a little help from the federal government. We will be providing an additional $2 million to the Ocean Wise Conservation. It's worth a clap, please. And it's not just politicians that want the aquarium to survive. Staff have been overwhelmed over the past couple of months as more than $2 million in donations have come in from the public. And then there's the unexpected success of the fundraising non-medical masks. Who would have thought a soccer club to step up to save an aquarium? This is so awesome, so unheard of, it's amazing. The Whitecaps teamed up with the aquarium to raise the money. They've sold 135,000 masks so far. Support is coming in from everywhere. Deep respect to the staff taking care of our relatives that come from the ocean and ensuring that our little ones, our month month, will be able to learn about these relatives in a respectful way. The aquarium is much more than just a tourist attraction. It is also, say staff and supporters, a place of learning and environmental conservationism. We need to bring knowledge. We need to bring the inspiration that can help people take action to protect the ocean. And that's why the Vancouver Aquarium is so important. But for 64 years, it has also been a big part of BC's $20 billion tourism industry. Normally, without a pandemic, there's a million people that will go through the aquarium in a given year. And starting today, they're going through again. Guests have to reserve online. It'll only operate at about 30% capacity with physical distancing in place. But the wonder that is the aquarium's 70,000 creatures, that remains the same. Deborah Goble, CBC News, Vancouver.